Good morning, babies. I hope you're well. I hope you're doing great with your fine ass. That sweet little booty of yours, I hope it's doing good. I hope it's plump. I hope it's <laughs> nice and round. Uh, this is a general message, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, the first thing, so I was listening to the song that I got on Shuffle, and then um, I heard Annie up, bitch, because Christ is coming. So um, there's that. Like I said, take what resonates, leave the rest. It is timeless, so whenever you find it, it's the right time. All right, so the song that I got on Shuffle is The Mission by Pussifer. And um, what do you know? The birds and the bees, they're wise to the lies. What do you know? So they took to the trees and took to the skies. On top of the chain and safe from the rain, what you know about ways of the underside? Bought a hot shot gat from a North End guinea. What do you know? Because they're hip to the bull and hip to the lies. Annie up with your ass because you ain't got a penny. What you know about the ways on the underside? Um, dropping bombs from above cut you all down to size. And that's where... Um, because they're hip to the bull and they're hip to the lies. Yeah, the streets rose in two perfect waves in the right. Crashes on the left and one on my right. It's all fire and brimstone, baby. So let's go outside and what you know. Oh, what do you know? It's all fire and brimstone, baby. I got a brand new pistol, baby. <laughs> Bought a hot shot gap from a North End Guinea. Annie up with your ass because you ain't got a penny. Um... So what I was getting from this song is uh, definite, like, judgment day, like, karma is coming. Like, if you called karma on somebody, they come in. And what I got with the, it says, um, what do you know about the underside? Whatever the fuck it, wherever it says that. what you know about the ways of the underside so not only um is judgment being called in regards to um like most high and that side but also like the underworld <laughs> and i also like got like you know like secret society stuff so like these people might have fucked around like with these dark secret societies as well so like they are getting it from like it's all blowing up and um so we, that might be getting exposed you know to certain people or um just certain like rings are getting exposed like that type of thing um I so weird because like Annie up bitch Christ is coming <laughs> so not only are like I feel like it's the dark and the light are you know making judgment happen making endings happen but also like these secret societies because um there was a there was like paralyzer by finger 11 after that I didn't really feel like it had anything to do with it, so I just kind of skipped over it, but I just, like, thought about the song. And then, um, uh, so, like, to me, it's, like, they're starting, these people that have done, like, really heinous shit, you know, just straight on demon time, they are, um, <laughs> damn, we got the full in reverse, so they were being foolish, for one. They were... If they were, like, in a coven or something like that, like, you know, doing some weird, like, sacrificial, sacrificial shit, whatever. Uh, take what resonates. Um, that they were, you know, like, breaking the rules even in these darker um, covens, groups, uh, like, cults, whatever. So not only were they doing that and you know doing wrong just in general they were also breaking the rules of these like groups and entities um 
so like you know not following their leaders and or whatever so not only were that you know going against most most high and you going against the enemy going against these groups and so like any up bitch because you ain't got a penny like they are gonna be it said crashes left to the left and to the right of me you know waves hitting all this shit is gonna be blowing up in these people's uh, how like lives um because and getting exposed or getting kicked out or losing everything that they gained upon you know your energy and like whatever they try to do to sacrifice you with these groups and stuff like that <clears throat> like they're getting turned against with these like cults and uh organizations and stuff like that also uh they're probably being tormented by like demons and shit because you're anointed and that you you can't be fucked with most highs not allowing that to happen and then we have um the next song that came on was delusions of a savior by uh, slayer and i don't think there's any ly lyrics to this song I, I think it's just uh i don't know i i feel like there's none but i could be wrong but what i saw was the song is and then it's uh is these people <laughs> may have like pretended to be like, you know, a believer that they're on the light, you know, they pray and all this stuff, but there was never any like true belief in it. No, um, they just did it as like a, oh, I should do this to save my life, save my soul type of thing. It was like a guilt thing versus like truly believing what's gonna happen. Or, you know, they would just, fake do it for people to like appease them something like that and um now because they're getting hit with like this judgment and the all this crazy shit karma um getting caught like on all sides the shit that they've been doing now they're like oh well i, I need to pray like i believe now like <laughs> because i'm getting slapped left and right from all sides i believe now but it's delusions of a savior. It's like, you've been doing this. You've been ignoring the signs, the warnings. And this ain't going to save your ass now. So they're getting their cheeks clapped. And, you know, here they are, like, praying and hoping to be um, saved by somebody. But they don't realize it's like, you have to go through your karma. You have to pay that shit off. And that could, you know, be giving your life you know or um whatever these organizations or whatever do i was like damn this is some crazy shit because <laughs> then i got aerials by a uh, system of a down and that like made me think of like you know we're being watched by satellites and you know uh drones airplanes all this stuff being watched uh, so, you know, not only are these organizations, you know, for one, we're being watched by Miss Most High all the fucking time. These organizations, you know, with their high tech shit, watching, listening, they're catching these people doing some crazy ass shit that they shouldn't have been doing. There was a certain plan, there was a certain goal, and they chose to not do it in the way that they were told to do. And they get in their cheeks clapped there too. Because we also have the Eight of Swords here. And in this card, the dude shot himself. The dude, like, hurt himself and blinded himself. Um, it looked like to me, it looks like because he had all these um, weapons that he. Uh, <laughs> Like, he's slay, like, yeah, I don't know, he was, like, drunk or something, just being s silly, and, like, tripped, and one of the loaded crossbows, like, fell off the wall, and, um, it, like, went off and shot him in the eyes, and he did that to himself. Uh, like, no one was there, and so, like, they're, you know, with the delusions of a savior, uh, no one's there to pick these people up, save these people, because this is my post-apocalyptic deck, so I'm seeing it as, like, this dude probably has his own compound by himself, 
And because this person was not only think just thinking about themselves, not the organizations that they were like working for, <laughs> you know, the coven, whatever, <clears throat> to do this shit to you, to sacrifice you, like however it was supposed to go down, they fucked up. And because they were thinking only about themselves and wanting their own, like, you know, they just shot themselves in the foot, essentially. They blinded themselves. They hurt themselves because they wanted to benefit them out, their own thing, their own themselves, I guess I should say. Um, and because they like fumbled this with the two of coins in reverse, um, they're getting cut out. And you, <laughs> I see you in this queen of swords energy, like because they're like fumbling and they did all this shit by themselves. You're just like skating free with this. Like you're... <laughs> You just have your um, complete, you, it's like the sword of truth. You can see the truth. You knew when to walk away, what to do, when to step away, or your, you know, guides were doing this for you. Like you just got free just because you were listening to your intuition and stuff like that. Whether you knew what was happening or not, you got out of this and these people are now facing legit judgment day. Fire and brimstone, baby. Like <laughs> All this stuff because they decided to be for themselves and now they're in you know spiritual jail you know in trouble with these organizations cults groups um because they were only thinking of themselves they weren't following direction they were breaking the rules and uh, you know even uh organized crime has rules you know you don't you follow it when you're told you're you do what you're told when you're told to do it. You don't break the rules because there's an organization. There's a plan. There's, a, you know, you have to follow the plan in order for it to follow through. And this person was a fool and chose not to listen and be selfish. Because the, um, the fool card is also associated with Aries. So I'm seeing that the shadow side of Aries, which is selfish. They're only out for themselves. Competitive. Um, to an extreme so they wanted it all they wanted to win at all costs for themselves and so they were a damn fool didn't know and so they went and fucked around they're not anointed they're not protected by most high nor because you know the enemy that the devil isn't going to protect their ass they're like i use you and throw you out bitch i don't <laughs> what do you think this is <laughs> That's the enemy like, okay, um, delusions of a savior, bitch. I, I ain't here to save your ass. You, you knew what you fucking signed up with. <laughs> so like, none of these people, it's a delusion of a savior. There's no one to save these people because they fucked around and found out. For one, they weren't in their belief of like true karma and divinity. And like, they didn't know that those things actually existed. Or if they did, there there was this delusion about it. And now they're finding out this shit's real. Um, and with this Ariel song, they're looking up. I mean, I didn't really read the lyrics. I just kind of saw the name of it. They're seeing things from a higher perspective now. They're like, oh, fuck. Because they're getting their every fucking way from left to right, front to back, up and down. What do you know about the underside? Um, they're finding it out from all fucking angles, baby. Um, <clears throat> and when I was, uh, getting ready to, like, literally right before I fucking hit, uh, play or record, set it off by, uh, Boosie Badass, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, came in my head. Um, just because I, <laughs> the beginning of the song always makes me laugh. Yeah, we finna set it off in this motherfucker. You heard me? I'm finna put you bitch ass people <laughs> in the trash can with this one. I'm tired of all you bitch ass people. <laughs> Y'all annoy me right now, for real. <laughs> this is <laughs> like, that's what I was getting. Like, y'all, I'm gonna have to throw you in the fucking trash can. Like, you, with this fire and brimstone, this uh, judgment day, this crashing waves coming out. Um,. Most high is fucking sick of it. Um, I ha saw one four four there when I said that. One four four zero. Um, 
most high is fucking sick of it. These entities, these cults, these um, groups, these, you know, underworld, <laughs> like under the surface organizations, they're fucking sick of it. Because this motherfucker been breaking the damn rules. They've been a damn fool, a selfish fool out for themselves. So shooting themselves in the foot, you know, the eyes, you know, um, <laughs> I don't know if you watch Trailer Park Boys, but there's this like greasy guy like, named Cyrus and he's just like a douchebag. <laughs> and so he's like sitting on his Corvette. He's like, yeah, this is my gun. Safety always off. Like, and he's just like bragging and like just being like a, just a greasy douchebag. <laughs> and that made me think of that. Like whatever gains they were getting off of you and your energy or whatever they were gaining from like your like you being a chosen one and like them siphoning you and like sa trying to sacrifice you and all this shit they got greedy they got greasy and decided to go up against you know these organized crime things or whatever you want to call it these organizations that had a plan you know to steal your energy whatever <clears throat> however this happens i mean don't trip on it like you're always protected you're anointed but because they went and fucked around and like went against you went against most high went against the enemy <laughs> went against these organizations all these things they straight getting their cheeks clapped and like because of the um that pussifer song like it's it might legit be they are seeing like locust coming in and like the true standard like four fucking horsemen and it might just be in their own mind's eye like they might just lose their fucking mind because of who they fucked with all sides all directions because they went and fucked around got greedy you know wanted to show off you wanted to get all these possessions all of this um energy from you you know they got job opportunities money um cars you know like he's showing off his corvette like they you know maybe they got a new car maybe they got all this stuff off of your energy so they got greedy and started acting a damn fool and going up against these whole ass organizations and because of this because this motherfucker or people i should say it could be several people <clears throat> dropped the ball on this your ass is heavily protected because you saw this shit. You, and whether you knew it or not, your intuition, your guides, your ancestors, they told you, you know, hey, go over here. And you're like, okay, fuck it, whatever. Or like, you don't even know that you were following your intuition. You were just like existing. And, you know, like you didn't know you were even channeling to go do something. And you just like curved this whole mess situation that whatever they were trying to do to you. And, you know, so, like, now you're just, like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I got out of that. Fuck yeah. And so you're now even more protected and, like, seasoned that you don't even have to worry about this shit ever coming at you again because they fucked up so hard that, you know, you're going to see a whole ass tsunami wave, locusts flying in, <laughs> the four fucking horsemen coming at these people, like, <laughs> standard bible biblical <laughs> you know judgment day shit for these people and it, because they went fucked around with every single thing you know like a portal to hell is gonna open in these people's houses and just swallow the ass swallow <laughs> i must be channeling my grandpa or something. <laughs> swallow their ass up man <laughs> it's something's gonna happen so um, they just fucked around and they, they're going to find out. They're going to find out. Uh, <laughs> we're about to throw these, uh, what does it say? We're about to throw these bitch ass in the trash can with this one. I'm tired of y'all bitch ass. Y'all annoying me right now for real. You want to talk shit? You want to run your mouth? <laughs> you want some gangster front? Yo motherfucking house? Well, set it off, bitch. Set this bitch off. Yeah. <laughs> we'll set this bitch off. Set this bitch off. Let's get these people mind right. Like, this is like 
you know, all of the most high, um, these organizations, the enemy, they're like, bitch, you, you want to play around? You want to fuck with me? You, <laughs> you want some real ass gangster shit? All right, bring it on. We're the biggest, you know, like this is most high and like the angels and shit be like, oh, we going to set this bitch off. <laughs> You gonna be seeing fucking biblical ass judgment day shit, okay? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's funny because this shit like that I'm channeling is fucking ridiculous. Like these motherfuckers like went up against literally everyone foolishly, selfishly, and now they're gonna their bitch ass gonna be in the trash can. They they have no other choice than to pay, and they think that. Oh, well, now I believe in Most High. I, I'm just going to pray. I believe now. But it's like, yes, good for you. I'm glad you finally, like, believe in this shit. But you still got to pay up. Annie up, bitch. Christ is coming. <laughs> you can pray up all you want, but you still... Most High is going to put your bitch ass in the trash can. You got to sit in there in your little prison until you learn your lesson. And that might be like them see losing their damn mind seeing shit like for real, <laughs> like, like fire and brimstone, biblical ass visions of judgment day. Like I, that's what I was getting like full on, like because they need to know that this shit's real because they fucked around and they went up against all the universal laws. You know, there's rules even for the dark side. And they, they fucked around and found out 444 on the clock. You're, you're protected. Like, whatever the fuck they tried to go up against you, you're done. You're protected. And it made you stronger and more clear-minded on when people are trying to siphon your energy. Now you're more protected. Like, you know when to pray up and stuff like that. You know when somebody's trying to steal your energy or, like, send you spell work. or And you're stronger than... Because if you're a chosen one, you're stronger than any of these motherfuckers. The light always wins, but... It's funny because they went and fucked around and found out against all sides. And now they stand alone and they have this delusion that they're going to be saved if they suddenly believe in the Most High and start praying and asking because they see how anointed you are and how you're like unscathed. Nothing touched you. Nothing affected you. And you're like, okay, bitch, what the fuck? All right. <laughs> yeah. And this is like them choosing to this is the four of cups this is them choosing to overindulge um while you were like in the background like doing work and shit like that they didn't see you know all this work that and it could have been several people that they've done this to they didn't see that you know they're you're doing all the spiritual work you're doing this you have you know strong faith they don't see that that's what it takes they were just you know overindulging in the shit that they could win steal energy um, do people wrong, whatever, get involved in these organized crimes, whatever the fuck. They didn't see that, you know, all you got to do is like <clears throat> do the work and you don't have to get involved in any of this bullshit. And this judgment day is going to show them that. And <laughs> like, I'm just laughing because like my guide straight up showed me like fucking like everything else is like normal for everyone. Like, <clears throat> but it's going to force them to jump into a timeline so they're, you know, they're still existing in the, you know, our timeline that there were existing, but they will be mentally and spiritually and maybe physically, but into another timeline where they straight up it like day and night, there's a flip switched, a slip switch flipped. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fuck. Um, that it's like turning the projector on and they start seeing like the fucking four horsemen and like the locust all this shit crashing down on them, tsunami waves. Um, and, and this is to teach their ass a lesson. They, you don't fuck their spiritual laws. And if you break them, your ass getting thrown in the motherfucking trash can. I'm tired of you bitch asses. I'm sick of this. And you're going to jail. Whatever that means. Because that's, uh, the so Eight of Swords is imprisonment. And that could just be spiritual, physical, mental, um, or just like stuck, like you can't, they can't use your energy or any other energy to like get away from like their own demons. 
So they're being tormented by Most High, the demons, your ancestors, these cults, organizations, whatever. They just getting it from every fucking angle. Cheeks fucking clapped. And it's all because they were just being selfish and insane and greedy. Overindulging. That was a crazy ass message, but <laughs> you're protected, you're anointed, stay prayed up, listen to your intuition, it'll never steer you wrong, listen to your guides, ask for protection all the time, you are divinely protected, as long as you believe that, you are, and <laughs> have a wonderful day, babe, sorry about the crazy ass message, <laughs> bye babes.